Good morning and welcome to our morning devotionals this wonderful Tuesday morning. My name is Pastor Ronald Jordan from Revival Time Assembly, a member church of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the West Indies. In today's devotional, we will be getting into some more insight from our first night of our prayer conference entitled A Call to Consecration Part 1 taken from Romans chapter 12 verses 1 to 2 and it reads, I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. This year, our prayer conference speaker was Rev. Ricky McClatchy from the WD Pentecostal Church in Arima. And boy, was he, was he powerful in his delivery of the word. He started to share with us concerning some principles about what is prayer and defining the meaning of prayer. For example, Prayer is not a monologue, but it is a dialogue. It is you talking to God and God talking to you. Not just you talking to God and then God cannot speak to you. Another one was prayer is between God and a believer who are desperately in love with each other. This talks about having a deep passion to become one with God. And this was well received by everyone. Another one was while coming to God for prayer is needed, this must never take the place of your personal prayer time with God. Our private prayer time with God should be an overflow into our prayer services and prayer groups. Your personal time with God, personal prayer with God. Another one was the true purpose of prayer is to have an intimate personal relationship with God. It's not only about meeting our needs or coming with a list to get what we want. Praying to God can cause us to enjoy His presence, His nearness, and fellowship with Him. So we must use prayer as a tool of building our relationship with God. And this was really stressed in the prayer conference that we had. So I pray that we will have this as a goal to aim for the fullness of God's glory through prayer. Let us pray. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise, O God, that these principles that were shared from our first night of prayer conference. We pray that we will really ponder on it, we will really meditate on it, and God, we will be able to put plan in place to execute these principles and really begin to see them work in our lives. We thank you for your Holy Spirit leading and guiding us and for equipping us in this season. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So I trust that what was shared today would have been a blessing to you. Join me tomorrow for tomorrow's devotional part two of our first night of prayer conference for some more principles. You have a great day. Blessings. Bye.